Okay, so here we are. Uh, back, uh, let's just test drive the uh, the Jag. So um, as you can see, the locking works fine. Added tone, which is a bit better. It's all standard key fob. There's actually a Cat One alarm system, which improves insurance, etc. The average at the moment is 31.9. Now bear in mind that's 31.9, but it's also running at, uh, with LPG. So um, incredible economy, actually. It does the equivalent of 50 miles per gallon. As you're going to uh, drive the doors lock. So let's see where we're going. A short uh, run, uh, just so you can hear. There's no bangs, no knocks. In fact, what you'll hear is the absence of noise altogether, really. Such a quiet, smooth car. Okay, that's the uh, left hand wing mirror. That should be working. And again, passenger, And windows all round, nice and fast. No slow motors. Back. Again, the uh, much the same as you'd expect. Goes all the way open, fully like that. Or as most will um, just do a split in the middle as well, which is nice for ventilation. There we go. Um, the uh, Radio obviously works as you'd expect. Some uh, stations, I guess. Radio stations, it's picking up here, but there we go, 105.6. Anyway, he's putting a load in memory, it actually picks up more than mine, so uh, obviously it works very well the aerial. Um, anyway, this is the CD. Um, controls for that obviously are on your steering wheel, change tracks, and the like. Tell you instant fuel, your average speed, trips, two different trips, the range left in the tank, that's the petrol tank obviously, how much fuel you've used since you've reset it, instant fuel economy, etc. 
etc. Um, you can see the gas which is down here. Now that's telling me that it's trying to turn into gas, but it's waiting until I start driving because it needs. It waits for. I think we have to go for a thousand revs before it'll switch. So that's it saying that it's warming up and ready. Out of here. Not usually parked right away. Right. See here. And there we go. That's now on gas. See that? That's two. Uh, yeah, two green lights. Is now on gas. So it's running on gas. Okay. Um. To the left, yeah, or to the right rather. Well, this is a very rough road, so you'll just hear just how quiet the car is. And then you'll hear that really, to say that this big pop bumps, bumps, you don't really hear anything. You certainly can't hear anything from the transmission, it's silky smooth. You can't hear anything from the engine because you know, it's equally silky smooth. Um, Absolutely lovely. Uh, obviously, if you put your foot down, uh, accelerate. Pretty hard for a big car. Um, I don't suppose any shortage of power. I think it's about 240 horsepower in these. And the steering is so light. Lovely, 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 lovely car. Uh, also, dimming rear. View mirror, fog lights front and rear. Nothing you'd want really. That's the old Nipmix. Um, it's got photosensitive um, lights, so they will turn on automatically. Windscreen wiper is brilliant. It's a uh, just a single wiper in these. <laughs> very very good. And uh, yeah, that's right, what we need to back up. Um. Oh, I've just noticed that um, seatbelt light is on. That's because I put my seatbelt on because I've been too busy recording so far. Well, that does go out. Just in case you think there's something wrong with the light. So super smooth silky drive. Obviously all the gearbox works right. Sports mode works perfectly well as well. You press the button, hold the gear and changes gears more eagerly and uh, holds them for longer. But to 
be honest, this is a sports car. Other cars for that sort of thing. If you're interested in going fast, this is for this is a luxury car through and through. There's no squeaking or crunching or knocking or anything from any of the steering. You can put it lock to lock. It just well, it just does exactly what it should do. There's another video which has a good look around the car anyway, but it does have airbags both passenger and drivers as well. Auto. And there we go. Thank you uh, for looking. Any questions, please do um, just ask. And uh, any pictures you want specifically, or anything like that, more than happy to help. Uh, best thing I know, I would really encourage you to just come down, have a test, bring an inspection, an RAC inspection, A inspection. It really is absolutely beautiful. Read the uh, listing properly and you'll see how much work's been done to this car. It's practically brand new. Um, so, yeah. Thank you very much.